Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about homes, apartments, or condos when moving out to the Philippines or even just visiting. Stick around. Hi guys, so I thought I would talk a little bit about this topic because apartments, homes, and condos are going to be a bit different than what you may be accustomed to out in the West. For example, condos, a lot of us don't even have experience with condos because we grew up e either we came from an area where we were living in an apartment or we were living in a house. Most of us, if you wanted to live in a high rise condo with a beautiful views and a pool and a gym, for a lot of us retired expats, that was out of reach for a lot of us. And then when you move out to the Philippines, it suddenly becomes within reach. So first of all, I want to talk about condos. Now the thing about condos that I like is that you got all the amenities. And so for a single guy or maybe somebody elderly, a condo for me is the best bet. If you are a single guy or maybe elderly or have some kind of a disability, then I think condos are the best. I can give some examples, but I've pretty much lived in condos my entire time here in the Philippines. Now a lot of this may have to do uh, depending on where you are going to settle in the Philippines. Obviously if you're going to go out and live in the province. Now obviously if you're going to go out and live in the province or a smaller city, condos aren't even an option. Typically condos are just going to be available in like the bigger cities, Bacolod, Iloilo, Davao, Cebu City, Manila, places like that. Dumaguete, there's only one condo as far as I know. There might be plans in the future, but condos just aren't a thing in the mid-size and smaller cities. So at that point, you're really stuck to either apartments or home rentals. But back to the condos, if you are going to be in an area that has condos, condos, again for me, were always the best bet. If you are on a limited budget and you have a condo, you have a lot of entertainment right there. You have a pool that you can go take a morning dip in, or if you have a girlfriend that's entertainment, you guys go hang out at the pool. Uh, they may have a game room. They have a gym that you can go work out. You don't need a gym membership. Uh, maybe if you have kids, they have a kid's room. I, the one I did, the one I lived at in Mactan had a kid's room and a kiddie pool. and. So things like that. And for example, I would order Amazon. And if I wasn't around, uh, the security or the reception would accept it for me. Or a local delivery like Shopee or Lazada, they would go ahead and uh, I would leave money with them and they would take care of it. If I had water delivery or maid service, they could help me with that. Um, you know, if you have any problems with uh, brownouts, you got the generators and they always have water. You don't have to worry about the water shortage. So condos also very safe and secure. You don't have to worry about unwanted visitors knocking on your door. Uh, you know, you got security. They have to present their ID. It safeguards you that way as well. And typically, like for example, in Mocktown Newtown or Sub in Cebu City IT Park or Cebu Business Park, you have the condos that are in very nicely developed areas where you can go out and walk and go to restaurants and the mall and all kinds of places that are just right there at your fingertips. So condos have a big advantage if you're going to go and live in the city. Uh, for me, even though condos tended to be a little bit more expensive than if you were to go rent a house or an apartment, there's a lot more benefits and in the long run I think it can actually save you some money. So condos are a good bet for, again, a single guy, a dis, uh, somebody with a disability, somebody who's elderly. Um, so these are all good options. Now, we're gonna move into apartments. Now, for example, this apartment here, this is just a five apartment building five apartments in this one building. It's a small complex. 
and you can see behind me it's got the nice pool and that's pretty much as far as amenities and a lot of apartments really don't have a lot of amenities other than a community pool this one's a bit different it's a smaller community and a little more upscale there are a lot of apartments for me don't really reach that upscale like this and they're small they have a lot of them won't even have pools they won't have gyms and they're just okay um, this one was a special find you know for me I, I really like it and that's why I'm still here but a lot of apartments again you can find much cheaper prices uh, for living if you want to find an apartment in these mid-sized cities or even bigger cities but you don't have as much security uh, you don't have as much amenities and a lot of times you won't even have a backup generator so apartments will take you down in price but you do lose some things along the line as well now homes probably would be the second largest thing where people expats are renting I would say the largest by far still would be condos most foreigners expats like to move out here and they like to stay in condos um, they're just more comfortable more Western style I would say but uh, a lot of the homes just don't reach that Western style that a lot of us are looking for I know a lot of us come out here and we're like you, you move to the Philippines and the first thing a lot of us look for are Western type food <laughs> Uh, Western style uh, amenities and things like that it's almost like we want the low cost of the Philippines but we want the Western lifestyle at the same time so the best you can do really is get about mid in the middle of that you know you're gonna have to sacrifice some things but a lot of things you can still maintain your Western type style lifestyle again houses you can find all kinds of you can find very very nice homes and depending on the area, they will be lower cost than condos. You can find, you know, a studio condo will cost you more than a three-bedroom, two-bath house often. Uh, in Dumaguete, you can find uh, nice big homes for inexpensive. And the best thing you can do to find yourself a home in the Philippines is really use an agent because a lot of uh, places you just don't find unless you go through an agent or Facebook marketplace and simply put out an advert saying hey I'm looking for minimum three bedrooms two bath um, quiet maybe near the water and you'll have all kinds of people message you that is the best way I've discovered so Facebook marketplace you type in the city you're interested in Elo Elo and uh, wait for the responses you know I did that in Davao when I was bombarded and I had a place like within 48 hours I was already moving into a new condo and that can be the best way to go sometimes but homes again there are some drawbacks maybe a lot of uh, neighbors nearby that are loud condos typically maintain their noise level you're not allowed to be singing karaoke at all hours homes here in the Philippines the neighborhood they could have a a big party going on and, and nobody's really gonna do or say anything if music is going on loud all night um, there's not a lot you can do stray dogs things like that you don't have these problems in condos so give and take but uh, for most people again I think condos is the way to go but if you're moving to a city like Dumaguete or smaller guess what condos won't be an option and then at that point you got homes and apartments just don't think it's going to be exactly what you are accustomed to in the west because it's not so anyway guys if you have any questions or comments comment down below tell me how you found your condo apartment home uh, what your experience has been here in the philippines as always i always say if you're going to come and visit here get a hotel the first three nights don't go book an airbnb condo for a month without seeing it knowing the area and knowing farewell what you're getting into uh, make sure that it is really the place you want to be at for the whole month I, I had another friend just come out here and he had all kinds of problems with his condo get the hotel go check the place out then rent it for the month on Airbnb or whatever uh, so 
hotels first, then long term. So guys, if you want to check out any of the stuff that I highly recommend for moving or traveling out to the Philippines, things I personally use, it's not just stuff I throw out there, check out my geointhephilippines.com. Click on Geo's Travel Essentials and you'll have a list of all the things that I highly recommend. And if you want to help support my channel, don't forget you can do that one of two ways. Head over to patreon.com slash geo in the Philippines or join my YouTube membership and click the join button under any one of my videos. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.